So hello, today I want you to show uh, how to import Mass Effect 3 uh, models, uh, I mean the characters and uh, the static meshes and texture them in the UDK. So uh, first we will start with the uh, static meshes. So um, we need to import anything what we want. Um, I will start with uh, uh, I don't know, static mesh and with the bed. Okay, so now I have a bed here, um, and you know the UDK don't uh, accept this uh, PSKX only PSK. So we need to convert this, uh, and it's uh, really easy. You just import it uh, here and press uh, Max and uh, Export, and uh, we will export this on the desktop, and we will call it this bed and uh, we need ASE uh, ACE uh, is something what you decay so we will leave everything uh, like this with no change so we press OK and now we have uh, this imported so and we will try it so uh, now I'm in UDK and I want my bed so uh, if you don't have a content browser uh, you need to click this uh, it's in the top left so okay uh, I will make a new so unlinked and uh, I'll import and I will go to my desktop and find my bed here it is so now it is importing and it is here so we can drag it and we can see we have um, in UDK our bed so we need the texture uh, okay I can close this Batman uh, okay I will go into the where is uh, I was exporting from Liara Liara oh shit okay so uh, in Liara office and texture so it's a bed diff uh, we need uh, so we need this bed. Uh, press OK. You can rename it or anything which you want to do with that. And we need normal. Uh, you know here you can type your name and package is the is the thing. Uh, this one, the unlimited one or two, or you can create a new one when you type the name. It will create a new. So okay we have this but we cannot drag it uh, the texture on the bed we need to create a material so uh, no we will create uh, right click and create a new material we can again select the package where we want to have and the name we we'll press ok we double click on the new material what we created it will open this so by left clicking you can drag it where you want and when you press uh, control uh, you can drag uh, only the one and when you not pressing control it's uh, both of them are moving so when you want to drag only only, only this one. oh my god you need to select one of them so like okay you can select this okay so we have a texture so we'll connect this to diffuse and uh, we should connect this also to specular so it have a bit glow uh okay and uh we can go into content browser and bring uh bring our this so we will hold control t oh right. so we'll just drag it i don't know why it don't work uh okay so when we will connect this to the normal you can see it have more shadows when I will disconnect this it's like shit and when I connect this it's a lot of a lot better so okay these are the uh, two things what we need uh, we'll press uh, apply change okay so now we have the material set up and now we can drag it over here so now we can see uh, it's really nice bed with the uh, shadows and 
everything. Uh, okay. When you want to see how it looks in in game, you can press this. Let's play this level. Uh, and it will spawn you inside. But okay. And here is my bed. It's pretty big. Uh, okay. So uh, I'll close this with escape. Uh, you can move it by selecting it and uh, you know it's pretty same as the max but uh, you know when you have it like this it's uh, flying and you want it uh, just a little bit not, not much like this so you will press the, the right button on this and uh, select uh, X like minus one oh, and the relative you need of course now we need plus one Well, I will just back it up because I don't know how much it went back so we need relative and minus one and now apply and you can see it's moving a little bit so here we need one and it's going a little bit slightly down and you can uh, really pose it really careful <coughs> and one it will go up okay so this is the basics and we need uh, this this is the rotation we can change how however you want that so uh, okay <coughs> uh, and here is the uh, scale mode so again same like the max uh, you know this is pretty weird but we can do stuff with that okay so uh, this is the basics what you need and when you will play it it will show you the lights need to be rebuilt uh, that's because you can see this band don't have shadows from the sky <coughs> so you need to press uh, this build light and press ok and uh, it's creating a light here we can see that progress Uh, it will be really slow so I will just pause the video so uh, now we have uh, created our light system and we can close it and now when you will play you can see the bed have shadows when you add a new thing into the UDK you need to rebuild again the light so it's not clever to rebuild it after all when you set up the scene then you will add the shadow and it will create uh, for everything uh, as you can see here when we will move this box oh uh, there's uh, I mean this box there's some black thing and th that's the uh, shadow so when you will rebuild again the map uh, it will disappear this shadow uh, okay you can set it back uh, so I showed you how to import static mesh this means everything would can't move uh, now we will import uh, the moving things like characters and setting the animation on them so uh, the next thing what we need to do is uh, create open our characters some uh, we will start with tally Oh, it's pretty easy so uh, we need skeletal mesh and uh, we'll just drag it and again packages and the name you need to select okay okay so now we'll drop her over here and you can see she's not textured so uh, what we will need to do is uh, go back and uh, look at here on the texture and uh, okay we need to find her texture and I uh, showed you in the previous tutorial in the you know, 3ds max how to uh, create or uh, her uh, texture so we will just uh, drag it over here okay I'm not sure if this is her texture it's not no it's a body if I think Hmm. 
yes buddy okay now we will click right click and create new material oh, okay and uh, double click and again you can you don't need to drag it out of there but it's better so I will just leave it for now uh, we will connect this to the speckler and uh, I forgot to add a normal map uh, here it is Mm, okay, so where is it? Here. So I'll drag it here and connect this to the normal. It looks a bit better. So, okay, we'll apply this. And, uh, okay, now we can double click here and uh, uh, now we need to open her. her a skeletal mesh here, 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 here she is. So uh, now here, here are the materials. She have uh, she have four materials with zero. So we will select uh, this material and uh, something's going on. Okay, and apply it over there. So now she have her material. Wait. Can't see here. Come on. Okay. Uh, you know her mask is uh, a bit fucked up, so we will change it. Uh, you need to find her. This is her uh, light, and this and this. So we need to find which which is which. So we'll open it like this. I recommend you to uh, install Picasa if you want to work with the textures because it's really fast open the texture <laughs> uh, really not now it's not fast because I'm running a lot of programs okay I will close what I don't need so magically open it so uh, this is our speckler we should add that and uh, Oh, we should find her mask. This is her mask. It's a uh, click face uh, something. So click face plate. So we will add it. Okay. Now again, create a material. Okay. And uh, connect this to the diffuse and uh, to the specular. Uh, also, you need to add the, uh, you know what I mean. You need to add the, the normal map, but uh, I just leave it now. So it will pick it up and apply it with that green thing. So now we should see she have that thing over her, and you need also the lights the same way you will pick it it's this one the second and drop it over there something what's uh, in the textures and uh, make it okay so for the materials this could be uh, everything which you need so uh, so uh, again you need to drag and drop her over here because you can see Oh, uh, this model don't have the texture, but when you it, uh, drop it over there again, it will have the texture. So, okay. Uh, now, what I will show you is uh, how to create the, something what's uh, transparent, like uh, windows. So, uh, first what we will need uh, to do is import a window so uh, I think in embassy they have windows um, okay uh, static mesh I caught a freight train and the very first stop the town was surrounded by 70 cops over the hill you ought to seen me run 